A big what's up to everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we have more 76ers news. I am a little late on this joint, but better now than never, right? More moving and shaking in the Sixers organization, but this time it is in the coaching realm. The Philadelphia 76ers have hired Dave Yeager to become a coaching assistant under Doc Rivers. Yeager, who has been in the league since 2007, has had two head coaching opportunities. The first one with the Memphis Grizzlies in 2013, and the second with the Sacramento Kings in 2016. Before then, he was an assistant head coach with the Grizzlies. He stayed there for about six years before getting the head coaching title. This secret admiring that Doc had for Jaeger had been going on for years. In an episode of the Woj podcast, Doc sat down with Woj and he talked about Dave Jaeger's X's and O skills. He said the first time we were about to play Memphis, Dave's comes over and says, hey, and introduces himself. And I go back to the bench and asking my coaches, what's that guy's name? I can't remember his name, but every time we play them, he runs great stuff. He really does. He really does things quirky, which makes him even better in some ways. It's funny, we swept Sacramento last year and no one wanted to play Sacramento last year. So the negatives of the hire, I read somewhere because I'm a basketball junkie and I, I always like re reading um, random articles from random sites, different sites across the internet that Jaeger is a hard nosed coach and he doesn't always get along with players sometimes. Could that be an issue here? I don't necessarily think so just because this team needs to basically grow up. <laughs> Our two stars are 26 and 24 res respectively and for the most part during their time here they have been babied. So Ben and Joe you need to grow up. <laughs> Hopefully that hard nosed toughness will rub off on Joel Embiid who needs it. The only reason why I said his hard nosed attitude could rub people the wrong way is because he hasn't gotten another head coaching chance. Maybe he burned a few bridges and he has to rise up the coaching rankings again? I don't know, this is all conjecture, but yeah. The positives that Jaeger brings is his defensive prowess. He coached those old Grizzly teams with Tony Allen, Mike Conley, Marcus Gasol, Courtney Lee, Zebo. A little bit of a throwback for you young bulls. So if he can transition that mindset, that grit, that hard nose, once again, hard nose attitude, to the team on defense, then we will improve greatly. This year, we ended up 12th best defense in the league, and we obviously need to improve that if we are going to become a championship contender. This should be easy, as we were a top five defensive team in the league three years ago when Ben was a rookie. So hopefully, Jaeger will add to that change. So deep diving into this, I'm not really that hype on the team hiring Jaeger per se, like people out there in Sixers fandom. I just do not believe that coaches have a large sway percentage on NBA success. Real quick, before you cancel this video and stop watching it, they do hold a good amount, no doubt, probably 20 to 25%, but ultimately success comes down to the players and if they want it or not. A coach can only do so much. These are grown men, professional athletes, the best in the world doing what they do, play, playing basketball. And if Jaeger is an assistant coach, how much sway will he really have on the success of a team compared to Doc Rivers, who is number one in the pecking order? With that being said, experience in the league matters and Jaeger has it. So what can you not like? Overall, I do like the hire just based off the fact that our coaching bench is becoming more professional. People with head coaching experience are coming to Philly to teach our young bulls. Examples of this are the Warriors, who under coach Steve Kerr has coached Mike Brown, who coached the like of LeBron James back during his Cleveland days, as well as the Clippers last year. Doc Rivers had Ty Lu as his assistant. Another, <laughs> another coach who coached LeBron James. Hmm, interesting. I wonder how long he will stay within the organization. Hopefully this isn't a one year thing. I would like the team to grow with consistency and stability. And that starts at least at the lower levels at the head coaching position. So welcome to the squad, Dave Yeager. Glad to have you here. It's just a process. Let me know what you think of Yeager's hire down in the comment section. Do you like it? Do you think it is going to change our, our team drastically? Are you as hyped as many of the Philly fans? that I've seen on social media, <laughs> let me know down below. Be on the lookout for our 76ers season review video. 
I've been doing it for the last three weeks, but every single time I have been trying, I have been trying to edit something else comes up. Either it's life stuff or 76ers news. So yeah, I wanted to make sure that I dropped these two videos, the last one with, with the front office hires and this one with Jaeger's hire, just so you guys would have it. But that video is coming, it's coming. Patience, young Padawans, patience. In the meantime, we shall be waiting for more Sixers news, and when it drops, your boy will be covering it. So as always, them boys are mad because the process worked. My name is Kain, and I'll see you next time. Peace.